What is up guys, Flashfire here, and today I am going to be bringing you the Week 3 Team Builder for the PFC. This is the Hampshire Hall Luchas versus the Golden Gate Gastrodons, or Cloud Final PhD, whose channel will be linked down below if you guys want to go and check out his side of the battle, his Team Builder, if he's going to put one up, all that kind of stuff, absolutely go ahead and do that. Now, like I said, this is Week 3 of the PFC, the Hampshire Hall Luchas, our team, are currently... 2 and 0, oh, I do believe. Uh, so we're doing pretty well at the start of this brand new season, and uh, I I'm pretty hyped about it, to be honest with you guys. I'm, I'm having a really good time in this. Uh, obviously, because it's a randomized draft, my draft still isn't what I want it to be. I haven't done a lot of trading since uh, last week. In fact, I haven't done any trading since last week. So we have exactly the same draft as before. We do have quite a sizable fire weakness um, and some interesting other stuff, but uh, the drafts have been performing pretty well so far, so we're, we're, we haven't got too much to complain about. Now, um, this week... My opponent's draft is super, super scary. If you look at it right there, he's got the Drag Mag Core, the Dream, the Mega Altaria, plus the Magnazone, which is horrifying for me because my three OU picks are Steel types. <laughs> and that's awful. And because of the Mega Altaria, I have to bring one of them to check it, but then he has the perfect counter in the draw and ah, a randomized draft, how did he do it? I don't know. Um, but he also has the Hippout on there, and there's obviously the potential for him to bring Sandrush, not thinking, not Sandrush, uh, Sandstream, not thinking about my Excadrill, so I was considering taking advantage of that, I could have brought Sandrush or Sandforce Excadrill, but wasn't really feeling it. Um, and then he just has so much freaking bulk, it's actually disgusting. He has Celebi, Hippout on, Tentacruel, Cresselia, Cofagrigas, freaking Escavalier, they're all so fat! Like, how do I deal with it? It's gonna be gross. So he has the Dragon Man Core, which is gross. He has a disgusting amount of bulk, which is gross. Um, and, and various other things. But, as you can see right here, we have something that I believe is going to be very good in dealing with the disgusting amounts of bulk. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Tail Glow Baton Pass Volby. It's time. We are passing a Tail Glow to our Latios, and we are going to sweep his team. Okay, so, our Celebi set right here. Uh, we have the great EVs and shit that we can set up on the hip out on. We can set up on uh, pretty much any of his physical threats apart from Mega Altaria. And we should be able to set up on most of his special threats, which is fantastic. Okay? That's so good. Because we can just baton pass a tail glow into the Latios and sweep him. Because, because, ladies and gentlemen, here is, here is the, the fancy bit. Latios is four attacks. I was very much considering bringing Dra Dragon Dance on here just to outspeed any potential Scarfers, but I figured I'm already spending two turns setting up a Tail Glow and a Paton Pass. I'm not going to have a chance to set up another uh, move. So we're not going to be able to... We're not going to be over Dragon Dance. We don't need the speed. Also, it allows us to run Shadow Ball as an extra coverage move. So, here's the fun part, okay? At plus three which is a Tail Glow boost, Mega Latios, Oko's, his entire draft! All of it! Every single bit! Ice Beam for Altaria, HP5 for Magnazone, Ice Beam for Gastrodon, Ice Beam for Celebi, um, Psychic for Tentacruel, Psychic for Infernape, Shadow Ball for Cress, Shadow Ball on the friggin' Cofagrigus, HP Fire on the Escavalier, Ice Beam on the Aerodactyl, Ice Beam, fucking, yes, Oko everything. It's going to be great. I'm very excited about that. Barring some, like, gross scarfers, but looking at my opponent's draft, nothing there really wants to be scarf that beats off, that beats Latios. Like, Magmortar, maybe? Like, I mean, there's an outside chance that it's Scarf Infernape. I'm really hoping it's not Scarf Infernape, because that would really ruin my day. But, um, outside of Scarf Infernape, uh, basically, this will completely annihilate his draft if I can pass a baton boss to it. And I'm just, I really want it to happen so bad. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh my god. Uh, so we have to run max speed because we're running HP fire and that's the only way to outspeed uh, Jolly Infernape. So, but yeah, we outspeed his entire draft. Except for the Blitzel. Is that Blitzel? Zeb Striker? Zeb Striker's pretty quick. It's sneaky fast. I don't like it. It's weird. But this is the, this is the game plan mess him up with Latios, and I'm super excited about it. And then, so the rest of the team is kind of just window dressing. Uh, we have Lantern here to check all of his special threats. This will check uh, Magnazone, Special Altaria, um, Tentacruel, Cress, Cough, Magmortar, Zeb Striker, all that kind of stuff. We have the Heal Bell on there, we got Skull and Vault Switch, and then we just got Toxic on there because some of the stuff that I want to be checking doesn't really care about Skull and Vault Switch. Example is Cress, um, 
and to an extent the cough. So, oh, and this will also check, also check Celebi lacking um, grass sap, which is always good. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 the lantern. It's basically just a specially bulky pivot because why not? Boombox is here. It's pretty much going to be coming every week just because it two hit KOs everything on his draft. Literally everything on his draft gets two hit KO'd by this guy, and it's fantastic. Um, Rotom Mo is is is. I mean, it's hmm, it's a thing. It's definitely here. I figured um, it could be good to trick a choice scarf onto one of his walls, which would be good. Um, it also gives us a little bit of extra speed. I, I basically just decided this week there wasn't a way that I was able to check the drag mag core and also break all of his bulk, so I'm just going to go super offensive. Uh, tricking a choice scarf to a number of things on his team is pretty good for me because he has so many bulky walls. We can hit the hippo, uh, the tentacle to an extent, the cress, uh, cofagragus, a scabalier, like none of those really want a scarf. Um... So that's really good. Then obviously he has a bunch of physical threats and a bunch of fat stuff. So will always is going to be great for whittling down uh, walls and uh, crippling physical attackers, which is great. Um, and then finally we just have Sizzle right here. I could, I really, I just, I really didn't want to bring it. I, I really didn't because he has the Magnazone and like obviously, obviously he's going to bring the Magnazone with my draft. I have so much steel threats and he has an Altaria. So, but this is the only way that I can like, this is like an emergency stop button to the Altaria. Like, doesn't matter how set up he gets, he's not going to live a bullet punch unless he goes for um, Cotton Guard, which I doubt is going to happen. So... Yeah, that's that's basically where we're at. Like this, this team, we're not able to check a lot of his stuff. Alta, uh, Lantern checks all the special threats, which is great. Don't have a switch into Altaria if it's physical, uh, except for the Scizor, as long as it's lacking Fire Blast. Um, but yeah, we should with this with this team. Like the only real issue for this team is Inferno. We are weak to its dual stab apart from with Flybee and Mist. And Mist is specially defensive, so it won't appreciate close combat. Uh, and Latios really doesn't want to take hits from that thing because we want it to be sweeping. So uh, it's going to be an interesting experience. We're going to see how it goes. Game plan is pull off the MLG pro as fuck tailgo uh, Latios spread sweep. That's, that's the dream. That's the plan right here. So... <laughs> If you guys are excited to see that, come back in a couple of hours when the battle will be uploaded tonight, and uh, I will see you guys then.